So here's Trixie Chang and here is me. I think I pretty much nailed it. It's Bianca and we're going to Walmart to try on Halloween costumes. But first I actually couldn't find any Halloween costumes so I decided in my head to have a spur of the moment DIY and go to the women's section. Some sweaters that might resemble a cartoon character, some ears, some masks, some accessories, anything to make it seem like I know what I'm doing and I am a Halloween costume. So that was a fun time but obviously before we get into the haul we have to go and search for more Halloween costumes. So we ended up in the kids section of the Halloween costumes and to my surprise there was absolutely no adult Halloween costumes left even though Halloween's in two days and uh, I guess everyone got their costumes ahead of time. Of course I decided to try on some kids costumes and here's me kind of rambling through the kids costumes to find something that may or may not fit. And now here we are, off to the part that we all were waiting for, the try-on haul. Okay, so we have a little bit of an interesting thing happening right now, which we have half DIY costumes and then half little kids costumes because allegedly they don't have adult costumes, even though it's a few days before Halloween. Like, what about you last minute people? I guess everybody has to be DIY these days. So luckily we're crafty and here we have a bunch of different stuff and we're gonna try them on and see what the heck happens, okay? Okay, so number one, we have a children's size large Wonder Woman costume. <laughs> She's actually pretty cute. She fits like a glove. I like her. Let's see what, ooh, let's see what Jordan thinks. <laughs> Even though it's a kid's costume. It's a large. <laughs> So for some reason in Walmart, the music was so loud just during this one clip where I'm a medieval princess. So this is a medieval princess look. I was saying how it has really pretty embellishments. It is a youth size, I think large probably, or like a size 14 kids. Um, the sleeves are really pretty. It actually wasn't itchy at all. The collar was nice. And here I was explaining how if you really wanted this and couldn't find something, you could hike it up to make it a little bit hoey. But you know, all in all, it's really good. And I think it was 22 doll hairs, which is amazing. And now I think I'm just rambling about how I think it's really cute and I want to be a princess and look at my hair and look at the embellishments and look how fun. Okay, bye. Okay, so I thought I was going to hate this one the absolute most, but I really don't. I guess it's Pennywise. Um, never seen the movie, never seen really any horror movies because I'm scared of them. But this is kind of cute. You could like do a whole thing. I feel, how much is it? 24 24.97 which obviously isn't bad compared to the other Pennywise costumes if you wanted to like cinch it back Ooh, baby and make it like that a little more saucy um, That would be good, but in the meantime, this is just what it looks like It needs to be cinched. It needs to go like this Yeah 
It needs to be cinched like bad. Right. It needs to be pins in the back. <laughs> but these are oh my god, I can't breathe. <laughs> this is a, this is a little boy's costume, and if I oh my god, if I stretch my if I stretch my arms any higher, I will literally like explode, or this costume is going to rip. But I have to hunch over. Oh my god. Okay, because again, Walmart did not have any adult costumes left, which is kind of confusing, but here we have <laughs> the boy's costume, and it's actually really cute, but it is very tight and not stretchy in the areas that you want it to be stretched, but it's really cute regardless. Obviously, it's nothing crazy. It's supposed to be a dash costume, but I guess you could turn it into a um, the mom costume or like the daughter, but honestly... <sighs> Can't breathe in it. Okay, so now for the DIY portion of this video, which I actually started out in Walmart doing a DIY considering they don't have any adult costumes. So here we are with the first of the DIYs. Trixie Tang from Fairly Odd Parents, obviously. Cute! So we have the pink headband that doesn't really quite match the pink sweater, but she wears the pink headband, pink sweater, and a white skirt, and we got like white little shorts. I don't wanna they're like very short, so don't like look too. So this one's actually really comfortable. This sweater is so comfortable. I'm debating on buying it. I don't know how much it is. Hold on. $14.96. It's very soft. I'm shocked. I'm shook out of my mind. So here's Trixie Tang and here is me. I think I pretty much nailed it. This is really cute. This is a really simple, easy outfit if you don't really know what to be. Cosmo and Wanda who? This one's so cute. I really like this. Oh my god, I love this sweater so much. <gasps> now this DIY is a little bit saucy because it's Janet from Rocky Horror and it is the scene where they pretty much take all their clothes off and uh, ends up here. So... <laughs> this is actually the most comfortable costume, obviously, because I am slightly naked, but... It is clearly the most uncomfortable to be filming in Walmart. So, I feel like my underwear is seeping through this, so I'm gonna like, do my best to do this. <laughs> yeah. So I just got this bra from like the granny section because this is kind of the bra that she wears in the movie. Um, she doesn't wear anything remotely sexy. It's very like old school Rocky Horror, you know, literally this. And I think she wears like a white little skirt, but I have these white little shorts on. They're very, very, very much see-through, so we're not going to be showing anything. But I actually really like this. I think this is a really fun costume to wear, especially if you're a Rocky Horror cult fan, which I love and I'm really excited about. So it's a mood. It's a look. It's a Rocky Horror picture show. I'm dying, kids. <laughs> I can't even picture walking around in a mask on Halloween. I figure you could wear like a really cute like, ooh, outfit and then throw on a mask and it's like perfect, absolutely. But honestly, it's a little bit too hot and a little bit not practical. So I just like this dress. I would wear it honestly with a witch hat instead um, for a last minute DIY, for a last minute costume. But there you have it. <laughs> So that was a blast and I was absolutely sweating by the end of it, but a lot of the costumes were actually really cute and I'm really excited about them. So if you guys literally need a last minute costume and you live by a Walmart, because I feel like everybody lives by a Walmart, actually except for me, um, go to Walmart and go scout around and see what you could find, see what DIYs you could come up with because obviously you don't want to spend a lot of money before Halloween because it's literally in two days, honey. You like need to go to Walmart right now and figure it out. It was fun and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below and follow me over on Instagram and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!